It's truth, mate. This one's a ripper. Photos of a celebrity animal expert posing next to a gigantic crocodile have sparked debate online, with some complaining about how the beast was treated. Chopper pilot Matt Wright posted the photos to Facebook on Saturday after tracking the croc down in Australia's wild northern territory. Wright is the star of the National Geographic show Outback Wrangler, but off screen he makes a living out of relocating dangerous problem animals, like crocs. And with this monster weighing in at an estimated 1,700 pounds, it's easy to imagine the kind of problems he could cause. But some people complain Wright used too much duct tape to clamp the giant croc's jaws shut. Others defended the practice, saying the Outback Wrangler was keeping the community and the croc safe. As one commenter pointed out, most crocs are relocated because they've previously clashed with humans or livestock. So if good people don't relocate the croc, some redneck will probably just shoot it. And don't forget, at least two people have been killed in Australia this year in suspected crocodile attacks. Don't let YouTube ad bots dictate what Tomo News reports. Support us at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Never turn your back. Australian guy fights off croc attack with eye gouge. An Australian goose hunter survived a crocodile attack after wrestling the reptile and poking it in the eye. 20-year-old Stephen Maureen was out last Friday night drinking and shooting some geese with his brother in the Northern Territory. When he waded out into the waist-deep water to grab some of the geese, a two-meter-long crocodile jumped out and grabbed his right arm. The crocodile then went into the death roll, but luckily for Maureen, when they went underwater, he was able to see the croc's eye, so he went in for the eye poke. The croc let go of Maureen, made for the bank, and Maureen's brother shot it. While waiting for the ambulance to come, Maureen threw back some more beers to numb the pain. I have a scratch on my back, the rest on my arm. He ripped out a bit of skin and left me with two or three holes. Marine said. Fisherman chomped by four meter crocodile. A 57 year old fisherman in Australia's Northern Territory has been killed by a crocodile named Michael Jackson on Monday. The 57 year old fisherman and his wife were on the bank of the Adelaide River when his line snagged. The man was fishing in Michael Jackson's territory but didn't realize he was in danger. While the man tried to release his snare, Michael Jackson ambushed him and took him under. His wife witnessed the attack and called police to the site. Around 9.30 p.m., police and wildlife officers found Michael Jackson and shot him to death. When wildlife officers performed a necropsy on Michael Jackson, the fisherman's body was found inside. This is the fourth fatality by crocodile in the Northern Territory in the last 12 months. Woman fails to save friend in crocodile attack in Australia. A 46-year-old Australian woman is feared dead after she was taken by a crocodile while swimming with a friend in far north Queensland on Sunday. The woman was walking on the beach with her 47-year-old friend in Daintree National Park, north of Cairns. Around 10.30 p.m., the two decided to go for a swim in the waist-high water. They felt a nudge. Then suddenly, the 46-year-old was dragged into the water by the crocodile. Her friend tried to drag her to safety, but failed. The friend was taken to the hospital where she was treated for shock and a graze on her arm. A helicopter with thermal imaging equipment could not find the victim that night. A full-scale search and rescue operation was launched on Monday morning. Neil Noble from the Queensland Ambulance Service told the Australian Broadcasting Corporation that a five-meter crocodile had been sighted in the area in recent days. The area is a known crocodile habitat. Noble told ABC that people should stay well away from the water, especially when they can't see. Australian Member of Parliament Warren Ench blamed the attack on human stupidity and warned it should not provoke a vendetta against crocodiles in the area. Speaking to the Australian Associated Press, Ench said, you can only get there by ferry and there are signs there saying watch out for the bloody crocodiles. If you go swimming at 10 o'clock at night, you're going to get consumed. Hey Tomo Sapiens, help us beat the ad bots by joining our Patreon news squad at patreon.com slash Tomo News. 72 year old Aussie man fights off saltwater crocs as his best friend drowns. 
best friends Noelle Ramage and Ray McComber, both in their 70s, set out on a fun day of mud crabbing together on May 17th. In their 10-foot dinghy, the pair took to the mangrove-laden waters out in the city of Darwin in northern Australia. Everything was going swimmingly until, out of nowhere, their little dinghy was rocked by a sneaky saltwater croc. Bashed from behind, the little boat immediately capsized, sending the two old men overboard. Amid the fracas, Noel found himself trapped underneath the overturned boat, drowning. By the time Ray got over to help, it was too late. His best friend had already perished. In an effort to save himself, the 72-year-old tried to hide in the mangroves, but the crocs were on his tail. Australia's deadly salties are known to be the most aggressive crocs on Earth, so the old man knew he needed to reach into his bag of tricks if he was going to survive. Using a spanner from their boat, Ray smashed one of the crocs over the head and used a flare and spark plugs to keep the rest at bay for as long as he could. About three hours later, a bolt of fellow crappers drifted into the sea and saw old Ray in a showdown with the gang of reptiles. They immediately bolted over toward the scene and scared the crocs away, allowing Ray to climb aboard to safety. The heroic fishermen then gathered Noel's lifeless body from the water and headed back to shore to get help. Just two weeks earlier, Noel had been diagnosed with cancer. He decided to go on this little excursion with his best friend to clear his head. He was 75. Ray, meanwhile, was treated for severe shock and exhaustion after being rescued. Though he has since been released from hospital, reports indicate he hasn't yet been able to discuss the nature of the events that led him to losing his best friend. Ugandan fisherman kills the crocodile that ate his wife and unborn child. <laughs> this is Mubarak Batambuze, a 50-year-old fisherman from central Uganda. Last year, Mubarak's pregnant wife, Naribe, went down to the banks of Lake Kyoga to fetch firewood and water and was snatched by what Ugandan wildlife officials said was a 1,300-pound, 25-foot-long monster crocodile. Nothing but a few fingers and toes remained of his eight-month pregnant wife and this heartbroken husband vowed revenge. For three months, he grieved. Then some friends had news. Mubarak, the crocodile that took your wife, is back. His time for vengeance had come. Deciding on an epic showdown, Mubarak shelled out five U.S. dollars, a considerable sum for him, to commission a blacksmith to craft a special spear with a barbed hook for maximum damage. Returning to the river, he found his prey and thrust in his spear. After battling it for an hour and a half, Mubarak and friends roped the creature on the shore and finished it. Locals said six women and children were taken by what may have been the same croc last year. The dead animal was taken to a university and vets found what appeared to be human bones inside it. Locals are hailing Mubarak as the savior of their village. Macho Mexican cod, bravely machine guns crocodile that was caught in a fishing net. Crocodiles are not among the world's most popular animals. They make bad pets. They're hard to train. But I'm not sure which is scarier, a mindless killer croc or a mindless killer cop. Taking a break from not keeping student protesters safe and palling around with drug cartel bosses, these two macho macho men with badges came out to a water treatment center after locals snagged a crocodile in a net. Now, like them or not, crocodiles are a protected species in Mexico, so these helpful officers machine gunned it to death as onlookers cheered. Here, watch the video. La verga. The crocodile might have posed a threat, or it could have been a peace-loving vegetarian who just wanted to talk. We'll never know. But what we do know is that these brave officers are men. Macho, macho men. Brave enough to unload a machine gun clip into a netted animal. Nice one, amigos. Despite his heroism, Mexican authorities suspended Officer Machine Gun and he now faces charges that could see him serve nine years. What a crock of sh**!